Stephen, can you please give the lady in 15C her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Ma'am, that's an omelet. Stephen, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers. It's not my fault she's not making any sense. Mother, the bring me mother. Mother. She's talking about the eggs, mother. She wants chicken. Mother. I left my book back at the airport. Sorry to hear that. Maybe you can call Lost and Found after we land. Can't you just turn the plane around? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't. We only do that for medical or other emergencies. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I can't breathe. I think I'm allergic to these crackers. <clears throat> Mary, can you grab the EpiPen? <gasps> What's the uh, EpiPen? Don't worry, miss. It's just a small needle that we jab into the side of your thigh and it'll help you with your allergic reaction. Sorry, I'm, I'm good. In case we blow up in the air, there's parachutes, right? Yes, of course. But it's just for the crew. What? I'm just joking. Oh, thank goodness. We don't have any. What? Bing. Hello, what can I help you with? The plane is shaking way too much, like I almost spilled my coffee. And this plane is so noisy, it's like, I can't even hear my friend. So the shake is coming from the turbulence that we're just flying through right now. And um, the, the noise is coming from the engines. Okay, then just turn off the engines. Are you new or something? I've never seen you before. Yes, this is my first shift. First shift? Wow, exciting! Would you be a doll and take this to the passenger sitting in 13C? 13C, okay. But we don't have row 13. You're saying that you gave the cream puff to the passenger in 13C? Yes, I gave it to 13C! <laughs> okay, mom. <clears throat> Excuse me, you so handsome boy! Thank you. You shingle? Uh, yes. My daughter, she shingled too. She okay. Kill me. Oh, drop my lipstick. <laughs> Like it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Please, is there a doctor on board? It's an emergency. Oh, I can help. I'm a doctor. She doesn't look so good. What's the diagnosis, doctor? So my diagnosis is some acne, rosacea, maybe some mild melasma around the sides. 
I could definitely have helped her with this if only she were still breathing. Excuse me, what? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Joyce Park, dermatologist. Oh, shit. You so handsome boy. Why you do poor job? I'm a plastic surgeon. Oh, please, very much. Uh, me lift. I want to lift. Give me discount. Oh, my, stop being so embarrassing. No, I can't. No? Why? Because you're perfect. <laughs> yes, can I get a Coke, please? Of course. Sandra, 40C is looking for you. Oh, okay. Hello, you asked for me? Yeah, I uh, wanted a Coke. Lindsay, the passengers wanted a Coke. Really? That's so weird. Okay, team, before we depart, we're going to do a quick safety quiz. All right, first question. What is the pre-flight security check for our halons? Lindsay, how about you tell me the last time you actually had to use a halon and I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what I thought. The needle should be in the green zone. Very good, Sandra. Suck up. Hey, what's a halon? The fire extinguisher? <laughs> right. Uh, so what happens if uh, it's not in the green zone and there's a fire? We all die. We die? Okay, everybody, just shut up! Do your checks. Make sure the needle is in the green zone. If there's a fire, nobody dies, okay? Excuse me, miss? Yes? Feel my shirt. What? It's boyfriend material. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I think it looks a little clingy, cheap, and hard to maintain to me. Ooh. There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it? I, I could give you earplugs if you'd like. No, 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 I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? What are you looking at? Pay attention! <laughs> Boop. Hey, captain! So. There's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Did you see that viral clip on the news where that guy got duct taped to his chair on his flight? This happened on Frontier Airlines. Yes, I saw. That was such an unfortunate event. I know, right? Poor passenger. I know. Poor... What? Yeah, they treated him like an animal. Taping him to his chair, taping his mouth so he can't talk. My God. Brutal. You do realize that he sexually assaulted and punched the flight attendants and was a threat to other passengers, right? Oh, seriously, this world is so sensitive nowadays. Like, he was just drunk. These things can happen. So what you're saying right now is that if you're drunk, you get a free pass for this sort of violent behavior? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! Ma'am, this area is for first class passengers only. Oh, I, I just want to use the toilet. The other one has a long line. I'm so sorry about that. They actually pay a premium so that they can use those toilets. Oh. Okay. I say hello to my friend in first class. Mm? Ma'am, I know you're the same lady from before, just with glasses and with probably one of the worst Korean accents I've ever heard. Jeez, I'm cute. Oh, I hurt my back. I need to lie down. Can you let me lie down in there? You dropped a 20. Where?
D&G Dolce Garden. Versace Bright Crystal. I just want to let you know this is the best smelling plane I've ever been on. I know, because I have a monthly subscription of fragrances with Scentbird, where I get to choose from over 600 brands. Real, 100% authentic. Sample size, nope. How much? $16, but you can use my code and get it for $11 for the first month. All right. Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English and I need someone that can understand me. So can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. <coughs> Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <coughs> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours, and if you don't... Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <coughs> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. <coughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him weep yet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Sir? <laughs> Sir, I need you to sit down, please. What? No, 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 no. I'm not leaving behind you. I need you to sit down. No, don't come to me. Go to your seat. Go to your seat. It's very dangerous. What are you doing? Don't get your bag. Oh, no, we're landing. Sir, sir, sit down, sit down. Oh, oh. Tales from the skies, let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So, so we're flying over the United States. Oh. True tales from the skies. Let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw out my baby diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're like working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way! How fun! I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap! These are so expensive! Thanks! My turn! Merry Christmas, Lindsay! Bish, I love you, you know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're gonna get fired. Uh, that's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. 
meet me in the toilet. And that's how I met your father. Bing! Hello, can I help you? Hello, can I have a hooker? A, a what? Can I have a hooker too, please? Pardon me? Hooker! Hooker! Yes, yeah, so a hooker for my coat. Oh, a hanger! Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I have air quality sample for you. <laughs> what? Uh, ah. Hey, 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 uh, you, you can't run around like this. It's dangerous. What, where are your parents? Go back to your seat, okay? Don't tell my kid what to do. Ma'am, you can't have your child running around the aircraft unsupervised. It's very dangerous. He's a kid. Kids run around. Ma'am, it's actually for your child's safety. I know the seatbelt sign is turned off, but we do get unexpected turbulence sometimes, and if that happens, your kid's gonna go flying. I've flown thousands of times, and I can assure you that it's never been a problem. If you don't care, I don't care. <laughs> meals that were here. I gave it out already. How did you give them out if I have the vegetarian list right here? Huh? M! It was labeled special meals! Yeah, I gave it to the passengers that were really nice and, and I thought was special. Oh no. What do we do now? Just pick out the chicken from the regular meals. That's disgusting. You can't touch people's food. Do you want to deal with 20 hangry passengers? Call this chicken picking. <laughs> We'll be arriving in New York shortly, where the local time is 5 p.m. You mean 3 p.m. The flight was only three hours. There's a time zone difference, ma'am. So we're traveling into the future? No, we're just in a different time zone. Well, every second of every day, we're advancing into our own future. So if we're in their future, when they're advancing into their future, we have forwarded to their future, right? Lindsay! What? Your lipstick needs to be red. Ew, no, I look gross in red. You know it's company standard. Change it or you're off this flight. Ugh, fine. Someone give me a red lipstick. Someone give me a red lipstick. Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did. I looked everywhere. She's not in the airplane. Please don't take off. Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox, thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. 
Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So? That's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be our problem either. Ah! Hell, death do us part, baby! I would love to be a flight attendant one day. Ew, why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is give you like peanuts and stuff. Really? <coughs> <coughs> oh my God, you're choking. Help, help. You called for me, miss. My friend, my friend is choking. Please do something. Oh, I see. Um, peanuts? So you open the can, pour it in the glass, and then you give it to the passenger. Any questions? Emily! Uh, yeah, uh, can't we just get the can? Because it seems like kind of waste to put it in another cup. It's just a service standard, Emily. Don't question it. Well, why do we have to open it when we can just give it to them? Because passengers will put this in their bag and ask for another one and keep stealing more drinks. It's free though, so who cares? Okay, class dismissed. I said no ice. Seriously, you have one job to serve and you can't even get that right. My God. How are you still employed? My apologies, I'll make you another one. And wait another 15 minutes for you to take your time to bring it to me? Forget it. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. You suck. Sorry, very much. My daughter, oh, say sorry. I'm sorry. What the? <sighs> oh my god, that passenger in my section is so annoying. Why, what's up? Every single time I bring her an item, she asks for something else. It's like within the last five minutes, I brought her 10 items. Hello, there's like other passengers on here. Why can't you ask for it all at once? Oh. Sweetie, you need to be slower. That way, they know you take forever, so they're gonna ask for it all at once. Oh, 저녁 시간이네. 야, 엄마, 고기 없는 걸 시켜줘. 엄마, you know how to speak English. Can you order it yourself? 영어 잘 못하니까 그렇지. How do you order when I'm not around then? 기집애. 알았어, 엄마 갈게. Oh, hello. Hello, what would you like for your meal? Please, I have a... Lice and no chicken. I want to. Yeah, yeah, chicken. Uh, do you just have anything that doesn't have any meat in it? Oh, are you a vegetarian? No, I am Korean. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. What? Your son keeps kicking the chair in front of him. And? And it's irritating for the passenger sitting there. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Could you tell your son to stop, please? Stop kicking the chair. Miss, he's still doing it? Look, if you want him to stop, you tell him. You want me to educate your child? Whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a movie. Hi, sweetheart. Do you and your mom want to go skydiving? Sweetheart, uh, you shouldn't be here. Where are your parents? <gasps> Annyeonghaseyo, pretty lady. Pretty. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you want snacks. Take whatever you want and let's go find your parents. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, I found your daughter over in first class and I gave her some snacks. I hope that's okay. Omo, thank you, very much. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but uh, I was just wondering if, if you had anywhere that had maybe two empty seats. The seat is um, it's quite small and just, it's just really uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, I know these seats are tiny. Um, I don't actually see two free seats, but... But I know there's an empty seat in business. There's a bit more space there. I'll move you there. Hey, can I sit there too? No. Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me feel very, very nice. Oh. Ooh. Really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. Where? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm going to get this checked. Great, now we're going to be late. Could I beat them in the way? Ah! Oh my, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's a, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh my, please stop. Ma'am, do you mind just sitting one row behind? You're on a wheelchair accessible seat and we would really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks. As you can see, there is a wheelchair passenger who would really appreciate that seat. We should have reserved the seat then. If you move me over to business class, I'll move. What a wonderful idea. Fantastic. Sir, I'm just gonna bring you up to business. Hi, sweet G. Yes, Amma. Hello, welcome aboard. Hi. I wanna be flight attendant. You do? Yes, because flight attendant so nice and fun and pretty and Funny! I have cookie for you. You're so cute! Hold on a second, okay? So we're actually overbooked in economy and we were looking for some passengers to upgrade to business. Would you like to go? <gasps> wow! Thank you, Perimachi! Jeannie, good job! Excuse me, what's the holdup? I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. Yeah, hurry up! I'm sorry, sir. We're just waiting for one more VIP passenger and we should be on our way shortly. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're getting paid anyways. Actually, no. You're not getting paid right now? We don't get paid until the doors close and we push back. That's crazy! Aren't you pissed off? This is my pissed off face, sir. Hey, dudes. What's up? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry up and sit down! <laughs> Hello, sir. What would you like for your meal? Uncle Roger will have the egg fried rice. Excellent choice. Here you go. Enjoy your meal. What is this? What is this? What is this? Why the rice so wet and the egg look like rubber? Uncle Roger, make egg fried rice video. You should watch it, teach you how to make it properly. Sir? I didn't make that. Uh, the chefs on the ground actually made that and then they froze it for not sure how long. But then they give it to me and I just pop it in the oven and uh, give it to you. Hiya, woman, you trying to kill me? Usually it's a yes, but I swear this time I wasn't. Excuse me, I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, I learned now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane! You are the most beautiful person on this planet. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 18, let's go! Do we get any 
airport perks while we're working? Of course we do! The thing I hate most about airports are these awful long lines. When we're working, we go straight to the front of the line for all the security checks. We get to bypass the customs line. And the valet has our luggage waiting for us. And we go outside where a shuttle like this will be waiting for us to take us to our hotel. Now that's VIP service. I'm so cool. I'll catch up with you in a bit. I just need to grab 10 face masks. I'll be right back. Okay, see ya. Hi, I just need 10 face masks? Of course, I'll grab those for you. And actually right now, if you buy 10 face masks, we're giving away 10 for free. So perfect timing. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. These 20 face masks will come to $36, but I do want to let you know that right now you can get 100 face masks for 60 bucks. Well, I mean, if you do the unit conversion, that's so much cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the 100 masks. Great! And now that you're spending $60, you can choose between any one of our best-selling moisturizers for free as a gift. That's great! I'll take that one. And if you spend another like $20, I can actually gift you these premium gift packs that are only available in this store. So just 20 bucks and I get that premium pack? <laughs> yeah, I want it. These are good for wrinkles, right? Add that. Yes, that's a great product. So your total comes to $85. Oh, you're so close to 100. If you spend $100, get 50% off your entire purchase. Oh, <laughs> that's like giving up free money. I am not stupid enough to miss out on that. So add these. I put in some extra samples in here for you as a service. Oh my God, you are seriously the best. Thank you so much. So you got what you needed? Yeah, I got a hundred face masks, five moisturizers, serums, sunscreens, cleansers, and a limited edition gift pack, and a ton of free samples. I thought you only needed 10 face masks. Oh. Ma'am, can you hang up so we can depart? I'm on an important call. Can you wait, please? You work in customer service. You should really smile more. See, I'm a loyalty member, so I should be upgraded for free. Ma'am, that's the wrong airline. You should be more empathetic. He's just a kid, and he's only kicked the seat 24 times. Something stinks. It's you. Prepare for landing. Woo! We didn't die! What would you like for a snack? Are you on the menu? Why am I not getting any service? Bing! Can I help you? That wasn't me. Okay, no worries. Bing! Excuse me, how much longer till we land? Another two and a half hours. Thank you. How about now? Ma'am, is there anything at all that I can do to help your child feel more comfortable? Uh, is she in pain? Um, I have some coloring books, uh, snacks, you name it, anything you want. Oh no, she, she just has behavioral issues. She's throwing a tantrum because she wants to watch Coco Melon. I have an iPad. I'll lend it to you and I'll uh, give you free Wi-Fi so you can watch Coco Melon. No, it's okay. She needs to learn that she can't get whatever she wants by throwing tantrums like this. Will she eventually stop crying soon? Probably not until she gets her Coco Melon. Huh? It's an eight-hour flight with over 400 people. Would it be okay, please, if you could just make an exception just this one time? Absolutely not. I don't even know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, everyone's watching the movie anyways. Okay, all right, but can you please just have her stop jumping on the chair and kicking the seat in front of her? Listen, she's just a child, okay? Children act this way. This is what they do. Everybody should understand that you can't control a child. Excuse me, do you think you just watch her for a second? I'm just going to run to the toilet. Of course. your seat to someplace more comfortable. Please follow me. Oh, great. You're almost there, right this way. Okay. You're going down. This is so lame. Three, two, one. I got 
got a map, rideshare app, subway map and schedule, airline app, hotel app, shopping app, best places to eat app, and translation app. Pretty nice, Jenny. Jameson. Yeah, I got all that plus NordVPN. What's that? It's a paid app that decreases the chances of us getting hacked while we're using unsecured Wi-Fi while we're traveling. You don't need that. Oh yeah? Then how do I know that all your passwords are I love weenie dogs and that you only have $2.58 in your bank account? Oh, and you know that guy you've been sending photos to in Spain, Fernando? Well, he's actually a 50-year-old man from Queens. <laughs> yeah, no symptoms, you don't about the cat. Um, uh, you know all that K-drama you can't watch because you're in the wrong country? Well, now you can watch it anywhere in the world. Link in bio to download. So what would you like for your snack? What you have? We have here dark chocolate nuggets, coconut keto clusters, coconut clusters, pecans and caramel, and almond nuggets. Anything okay? The almonds are my favorite. Try that one. Jenny? Can I have a snack? Oh, sure. <laughs> Pretty lady, can I have a snack? <gasps> you are so cute! Here, take two. I didn't get one. Can I have one snack? Oh, of course, sweetheart. There you go. Anna! <laughs> Good job, yeah! I'm still gonna see if I can hang out with Captain Eric when we land. I just have one advice for you, okay? Before you start anything, Ask him if he's married. Ask him if he's married. What, what, what? Why do I have to ask that? Okay, so for example, you forget to ask if he's married. So in the middle of you watching a movie, his wife calls. And obviously, you're going to get upset. So what do you do? You cut a huge hole in his crotch area in the one and only uniform that he has to wear tomorrow to work. And then he'll have the audacity to call you a psycho. And then he'll just make the flight back like really uncomfortable, you know? That was like a really specific example. Hmm? You're all scaring me. Maybe now I don't want to date a pilot. Sweetie, no! Just like how there's a lot of great guys on the ground, there's a lot of great guys in the air, okay? Or equal amounts of trash on the ground as there is in the air. Lindsay! That's depressing. What? It's true. That's why I also like girls. Excuse me, what? I didn't know you like girls too. Yeah, it's called insurance. I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note. Understood? Different last names. Hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask your child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm, she doesn't really know. United States where? United States of Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the fast pass. Thank you. Oh, What you looking at? We all made it on time. I swear it was customs, okay? At to EGY, you come 10 hours before. Gay! Oh my god, what does it mean, Oma? Dapun salam to the man hanging away. Hajima! This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey lady, the passenger in 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. <coughs> is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. You good? 
Are you gay? Mama. Could you teach me how to apologize to a Korean passenger again? Of course. How sorry are you? What do you mean? Like there's different levels of sorry. For example. I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry, boss. I'm sorry I hit you with my car and when you got amnesia that I pretended I was you and stole your money and lover. How to be a flight attendant's favorite passenger, part one, let's go! You know how all passengers get a boarding pass? Well, on that boarding pass, you'll see a seat number and letter. Sit there. Thank you. Mmm, it tastes good. What is it? Kurike masisso? Yeah, I like it. Arasa. What is a word in your foreign language that just sounds insanely inappropriate to English speakers? There's a super common word in Korean that if I actually say this, I'll probably get banned. So let me just split it up a bit. Ni ga. We are not saying the N word. We're saying you, you, you. I've heard of so many Korean rappers and K-pop artists get so much hate for using that word. They're just saying you. Can you please stop coming after us for using that word? Because, like, it's not our fault. Like, we didn't create the language! Things you didn't know about cabin crew! Part 17! Let's go! So, of course, we get free flights when we're working, but what about when we're not? We get to fly anywhere in the world with our industry discount tickets. For Emirates, we have what we call ID90 tickets. We get to fly on Emirates or any of their partners at 90% off the ticket price. Unlimited. But there's a catch. These are standby tickets, so if the flight is full, you're not getting on. If you want a guaranteed seat, you can also do that by purchasing an ID50 ticket, which gives you 50% off. Oh yeah, and Emirates gives you one free ticket a year to fly home for free. Excuse me, may I please get a coffee? Of course, cream and sugar? Just sugar, thanks. Here's your coffee and some sugar. No sugar, I need a sweet and low. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll get that for you right away. Here's your sweet and low. I need two packets. Man, my coffee's gonna get cold. Oh. I'll get that for you right away. Here's another pack for you. Where's my stir stick? I gave you one earlier. I dropped it last time when you brought me the wrong sugar. Pay attention. I'll get that for you right away. I knew it, it's cold now. Bring me another one. What do you mean I need to demonstrate how to put on a seatbelt? You take one strap, take the other strap, put it together. Show me in the job description where it says, must clean human feces. What do you mean we don't get reception in the air? I, I need to tell Britney Spears that I'm trying to save her. <laughs> 10 more hours left? Listen, Karen was it? It's called airplane mode and clearly we're on an airplane. So just do it, okay? It took too long, it took too long, it took too long for you to call back. You wanna do it with me? As we prepare for departure, please put away all of your large electronic devices and put your phone on airplane mode. Can you please explain why we need to do that? It's to ensure that the phone signals don't interfere with the plane's navigational system. So you're telling me that my worthless iPhone 4 can mess with this multi-million dollar plane? <coughs> oh, sorry, I need to get some water. <laughs> Next! Hello? Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <coughs> a remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport.
You do realize that I can find you for this. what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. A strange thing happened on the plane today. A group of vampires came on board and told me they were thirsty. So after boarding, I asked them what they wanted to drink. The first vampire asked for really hot blood. On Genie Air, we never say no, so I found a way to get the blood. The second vampire asked for really cold blood, so I got that for her as well. But the third vampire just asked me for hot water. Super confused, I asked her, don't vampires only drink blood? She takes out a use pad and says, I'm making tea. Hey, I have to be on this flight. I'm sorry, sir, this flight has been canceled and I'm currently in the process of rebooking all 200 passengers. Okay, then rebook me right now. I'll be happy to help you, sir, but I need to help everyone else that's been waiting in line here first. If you don't mind just getting in line when it's your turn, I'm sure we can figure something out for you. <laughs> I'm in first class. Do you have any idea who I am? gentlemen, we have a passenger here at gate 62 who doesn't know who he is. If you can help identify him, please come to gate 62. <laughs> you! I'm sorry, sir. You need to get in line for that, too. Duty free, anyone? Duty free? Oh, great. Can I please see, I don't know, makeup, skincare, perfumes? These are our most popular products. So you should definitely check these ones out. They're very, very good. Uh, we also have some of these. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to open them? Oh, that's nice. Can I actually see what makeup you have there? Yes, we have lots of makeup if you wanted to see Ooh. them. Oh, like this one. It's see nice. Them. See them, not use them. What a them. nice color. It looks different on the skin, though. So let's take a look. Oh, it's nice. That's not a tester. Do you have any perfume? Yes, we have perfume as well, but you can't really smell it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, not, not, not what I like. No. Okay, look, I'm so sorry, but there is no sampling of our product. I think you misunderstood me. I'm buying everything. You, you want to buy the entire cart? <laughs> You're fine with us. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you for everything. Don't forget to take your duty-free items you purchased. Oh, this is all I wanted. You can just like throw the rest away or whatever. Bye. <gasps> hey, can I take these? Well, nothing in this manual says we can't take a passenger's trash. Yeah! Hello, welcome aboard. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Yes. Uh, can I help you with anything? Please take my coat and store it laying flat. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, there's nowhere on the plane I can store it like that, but uh, you can fold it and you can put it in the overhead bins. F fold this? Fold this? My fur coat? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I can check first class and see if there's any space in the coat closet there. And hang this with other coats? No. Do you know how much this costs? What you're gonna do is lay it flat in first class seats, okay? I saw some empty seats up there. I'm sorry, we can't give your coat a seat in first class, but you can put it in the overhead bins or underneath the seat in front of you. You are so rude and incompetent. Get me your supervisor. Hello, I am the purser of the plane. What my colleague here has just told you is our procedure. Your coat has now delayed the whole plane. You can either choose to put your coat away or you and your coat may leave the plane. So yesterday I posted a video regarding what it's really like to be cabin crew and uh, this photo was part of it. It's literally a passenger that's taped and strapped to his seat. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Actually, this is not funny.
I'm laughing because like people can be so crazy. So this guy decided to drink all of his duty-free alcohol, which you cannot do on the plane, got super drunk, started to strangle the passenger next to him, and then started screaming at the top of his lungs that the plane is going to crash. So yeah, cabin crew are trained and allowed to detain passengers this way uh, until we can land and get the proper authorities to help us out uh, in case you're being violent and stuff like that. So yeah, true story. Many of you had some questions regarding this clip of me cleaning a toilet on a plane. So most airlines will have a cleaning crew on the ground, but in the air, it's cabin crew's job. If you were ever planning to be cabin crew, I'm going to tell you right now, this is nothing. At least this person made an effort to try to get it into the toilet. Ask any cabin crew. Sometimes they miss it all together. All over the floor, all over the walls. Don't ask me how. I don't know. True story, my worst ever, ever. You know the lid of the toilet? Well, that was down and someone took a huge shit on top of it, okay? It was on top, a huge pile, rolling over to the sides. There was no way I was gonna clean that, so yeah, we put it out of service. Come what is your emergency? Uh. How can I help you? Good. Is there, is there a grown up there I can talk to? I'm home. I wanted to tell you something. Okay, what is your name? Lene. Oh, Lene? What do you want to tell me, Lene? We went to Disney on Ice. You went to Disney on Ice? Yes. Okay, can I talk to your mommy or your daddy? No, they're busy. I know they're busy, but I need to talk to one of them, please. No. Uh, I'm, I'm busy, too. I'm going to play game, so... I just wanted to tell you something, but bye. Different type of flight attendants. Let's go. Here's the drink you asked for. A water? Yes, of course I can get that for you. Where are we flying to again? Can you give 20C a blanket? Were you always on this flight? Yes. In the unlikely event that a baby is born on board. What happens to the baby? Some babies are granted citizenship in the country that they are born in. Some babies are granted citizenship in the airspace that they are born in. And some babies will get the citizenship of one of their birth parents. So there is no right answer, it's just the laws of each country. But will this baby get free flights for life? Not really. There have been a handful of instances where airlines have given away free flights. But most airlines are not going to promote this because think about it, it's super dangerous. Trust me when I say you do not want me delivering your baby. <laughs> okay, so none of you guys are going to do this, so I'm going to do it, okay? We all took the same training class. It's going to be fine. Hi, you're doing great, okay? Um, yeah, so I think it's time to push. So we're going to push. Can you guys like, okay, all right. Ready? All right. Push! 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 Excuse me, can you please watch my daughter five minutes I go bathroom? Oh yeah, of course. No problem. Can I play with your makeup, please? Yeah, show her, but we need to ask your mom first. We don't need to because my mom said creativity is all about inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, making mistakes, and having fun. Oh, wow. Well, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> she did it. Excuse me, sir. You need to put your laptop away. We're landing soon. That rule is stupid. Sir, it's for your safety. Don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? Sir, if you don't care about your safety, that's totally up to you. What I do care about is in case of a rough landing, your laptop will smash the face of the person next to you.
시작 안 됐어. 빨리 와서 설거지 좀 해. Favorite passenger part two. Let's go. During boarding and you find your seat, some of you have the urge to open up your carry-on at that time to get some miscellaneous items. Before you do, turn around. If you see a hundred people waiting behind you, hurry your ass up or get out of the way. Thank you. As flight travel starts to reopen, we're going to have to start dealing with security lines again. There's a lot of indicators I can share with you to get through these lines a lot quicker, but I'm gonna share with you the easiest one. Follow the business passengers. If they're wearing a suit, carry a briefcase, or look like they're going straight from the airport to a business meeting, you're gonna wanna stand behind them. They've done this a hundred times. They are quick. Not only that, they've already scanned the lines to see which one is the fastest. Can one of you guys please do duty free? I'm so tired. Mm-mm, we're all tired. It's your turn, okay? Oh, fine. Duty free, anyone? Duty free. Hi, over here. Um, so what is your favorite fragrance? Yes, sir, would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel great. That That's great. I'll take it. You keep it. P part, part of and how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us. Great. I'll take 13 more fragrances. Just have the crew pick whatever they want, and then just let me know how much it is. Oh, no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please, just enjoy it. Thank you so much. So I love Egyptian documentaries, and I swear I was an Egyptian queen. Here's proof. So this documentary on YouTube has this coffin of an Egyptian queen. <laughs> I was reborn. Set, go. Stop. Set, go. Stop. <laughs> go. Stop. Come on. Nope. Forgot about my belt. <laughs> Forgot about my watch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You want me to take this all off? What? Oh. Coins. Oh, coins. Where is it? Oh, screws. Oh, of course the screws are going to do this. Oh, I was looking for this. What? What is this? Oh my, can you please hurry up? I'm gonna be late for my flight. All right, I got nothing else. That's strange. I don't have anything else, I swear. You serious? Let me try this. Wait, I have a pacemaker. Did I tell you that? Can someone turn it off? Why are there always dirty dishes? And why am I the only one always doing the dish? Hey! You haven't been doing the dish for like eight months straight? And I will continue to do it for the rest of my life! Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone! So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but... We're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me, and quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? This is fake money. I can't afford to 
gonna give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary? Besides, it's not what it's inside that counts. It's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year. Guys, welcome aboard. Welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay, that was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes, tis a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh my god. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. <sighs> I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just... Don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey! Why, you want more? Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady? You want to trade? You need to wear your mask for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still... You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you... I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a... Huh? Found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Um, what are you doing? You know, when, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're made in a touch. Just give me a second. It works! I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just, just hold on, just hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Crap. Hello, lost and found? Yeah, um, I found a baby on the plane. I'm here. You forgot your baby? Forget? No! I left him there on purpose so that I can take my bags to the gate because I can't carry both at the same time. So you left your baby? Yeah. So you left your baby alone? Yes. So you left your baby alone without telling anyone? How many times do I have to say yes? Are you stupid or something? Are you? Can I please get a diaper for my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have diapers on board. You have no diapers? What am I going to do? Um... Well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. Lindsay, I need your help! Shh. I'm on my break. Leave me alone. It's an emergency! Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious! I think someone's dying! Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. Voy a go. Oh my no! Welcome to get- Where? Uh... They're Sandra's vitamins. Yeah, vitamins. To sleep. Carna bice vitamin? Okay, 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 I'm gonna stop, stop. It's weed candy, okay? Marijuana? Oh, shit. How you feeling, Amma? Did you finish with your beverage service? Yes, I did exactly what you said. I served coffee and tea along with uh, cream, fresh milk, sugar, and swolled up. We don't have fresh milk. No, we do. I found some in the fridge. From the... Oh my god, that's breast milk! Cows have breasts? Excuse me, may I please get the milk I stored here earlier? <laughs> Ma'am, please keep your mask on for the entire flight. I recently had knee surgery, so I'm exempt from wearing a mask. Sorry, what? I had a knee surgery. Do you mind showing me where your knee is? What kind of stupid question is that? I just want to confirm something. Here? Oh, thank God. I thought you didn't know what a knee was. 
That is perfectly fine, ma'am. Your knee is exempt from wearing a mask, but your face still needs one. Excuse me? It's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, no, no. Mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah. You want to see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! <laughs> Uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine. I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a loose, loose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 14, let's go. So how long is a cruise shift? Why don't we break it down? The longest shift I've ever had with Emirates was from Dubai to Houston, Texas, which was 16 hours. We also need two hours before the flight for our pre-flight security checks and our briefing. And then upon landing, we have to let the passengers leave first, then we go through customs, then we get our bags, and then we make it to the hotel, which is another, let's say, two hours? So in total, it's about 20 hours. Do you still think you can be cabin crew? Miss, we need to inspect your bag. Oh, okay, sure. What is this? That's my favorite show. Pornographic material is illegal in this country. No, 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 it's not what you think. I need to report you. What's going on over here? She's trying to bring pornographic material into our country. Sex in the City? I love that show! Samantha's my favorite. She's good to go. <gasps> I'm gonna be late for my connecting flight. Is there another way out? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. That's the only way out. Well, can't you tell all these people to sit down so I can get out or open that door? I can't. There's no jet bridge at this door. I don't need a jet bridge. It's fine. Just open it. You need it to get off. We're not in the sky. I can get down. It's like a long way down. Lady, just open the stupid door right now. I need to go. I'm so- No. I'm this fight. It's all gonna- You can't- You gonna refund me? You gonna refund me? Is that what you- Okay, fine. Hey, do you have a ladder or something? Oops. Ah! It's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me? You dropped something? That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great. So do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my god, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know! Like, she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my god, I know! Like, get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m., so don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57, but that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're gonna miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go! This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. Hello, welcome aboard. I have a present for you. Oh my goodness! That was really sweet. Thank you so much. Anna, how can we get upgrade? What is that? I don't know. I've never tried it. This sweet passenger gave it to us. Come on, let me try. Good job, Ginny! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Ow, I cut myself. Kinchana? Chop. Oh my so Okay. Thanks, Emma. Some party. Why are you so busy? Thank you. Pasta. Oh, I feel like 
라이스 왜밥 먹고 싶어? 어 엄마가 해왔어 응 Hello welcome aboard Hello Oh Oh my god I'm so sorry No 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 I'm sorry I should have stopped slower I was the one not paying attention I am so sorry I should be more aware of my surroundings I'm sorry Please accept my apologies with these dozen ten bits. That is so generous. Let me help you with- Okay, can we please speed up the politeness? We're still bored in, eh? Oh shit, I need to pee. Damn, these passengers are freaking sleeping. Maybe I can just hold it. We have two hours to landing. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Nope, nope, can't hold it. Oh, they're waking up. Oh no, they're not up. Damn, I'm so thirsty too. I can't drink water right now. Wait, if I drink a cup of water right now, it'll take me 30 minutes to pee it out. No, 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 not a good idea. No, not worth it, not worth it. I'm just gonna wait. Damn, I'm so thirsty though. No, 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 I can't risk it. Seriously though, what is their problem? Okay, just distract yourself by singing a song. Don't go chasing waterfalls. No way, you idiot! You can't sing about water right now! I'm such a dumbass. Oh no, okay, fuck this shit. Excuse me. Get me your supervisor. I'm the supervisor of economy class. How can I help you? Yes, the other flight attendant with blonde hair and black glasses has got to be the worst flight attendant ever. First, I asked for coffee, and then 30 minutes later, she brings me socks. I still never got my coffee. And she's always on her phone. That is so unprofessional. And she's got to be the rudest person I have ever met in my entire life. There must be a misunderstanding. Lindsay is one of the best flight attendants we have. You've got to be kidding me. You know, you're just as bad as she is. You know what? Get me the manager of the plane. What, what do you call it? A purser. Certainly. And bring me a complaint form! Hello, ma'am. I am the purser on this plane. I understand you have a complaint to file. Yes, that's correct. Please fill out this complaint form and I will take care of it. See? Now this is great service. Why can't the rest of them be like you? I'll file this for you right away. Thank you. Oh, pain them say, oh, body up. Oh. You smell bad. What? Oh, no, no. So sorry. Yeah. Could you get my name? 엄마, you just said his feet so stinky. Oh, <laughs> Do you have any other questions in regards to sitting in the emergency row? Yes, so where does the door go? Uh, when the door opens, it just slides outwards. But what if someone is outside the door? Why would there be someone outside the door? Like say there was a hiker or something and you open the door, wouldn't they get injured? Ma'am, hypothetically speaking, if there were a crash landing and a hiker happens to be there, they're not going to be worrying about the door. Hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Are you lost? Where are your parents? You can see me. What? You're not supposed to be able to see me. Um... Jenny! I'll help you find your parents. What's your name? Jeannie. What a beautiful name, Jeannie. Do you remember where you were sitting? Yeah, it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay. I I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? Hey, psst, psst. Do you know where this kid was sitting? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Uh, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. 
See ya.